Hi, everybody. This is Yvonne DeVito from the Purina Care blog for Purina Care Pet Insurance. And we have started a new series called the Interesting Claim Series of Podcasts with Dr. Bill Craig and Dr. Larry McDaniel. And we're going to talk about some claims that have come into Purina Care. Dr. Bill and Dr. Larry, take it away. Okay, Yvonne, thanks a lot. And Bill, what did you want to talk about today? Which... Uh... What cases that are constructed? Well, we have, we've had an interesting claim. This is for a, a young pug, a female pug, two years old, named Cherry. And uh, Cherry has had some recent neurological problems with her back legs, some weakness and incoordination, staggering, if you want to use that terminology, and some, uh, some pain in her back where she's walking hunched up and uh, just difficulty getting around. And, and as you know, uh, most veterinarians and a young adult dog that are is dis, uh, demonstrating that sort of uh, clinical presentation, our first suspicion is that this would be a spinal disc problem in which one of the discs between the vertebra, the cartilage disc between the vertebra and the back, is protruding upward and putting pressure on the spinal cord which then leads to decreased neurological function, so lack of control of the legs and the coordination. It's also painful. It hurts a lot. You know, a lot of us have had back problems, spasms, you know, that can be quite debilitating. So That type of a condition is very common in some of the breeds like dachshunds and basset hounds that have the really long, drawn-out lumbar spines. But right. in a pug, it's kind of uncommon. Right. We, we see it in all breeds, but there are certain breeds that we uh, expect to find it more uh, frequently. But with this kind of presentation, that certainly goes high on our list of suspects for cause of the problem. Uh, what did the veterinarian do in this case? Well, a, a spinal disc problem was at the top of the primary care veterinarian's list in terms of diagnostics. They took some uh, x-rays, uh, radiographs of the back, and they really didn't find anything that they could uh, hang their hat on in terms of a location of the problem. And so this dog was referred to a specialist for uh, further diagnostics. They did a myelogram. It's a procedure in which a radio-opaque dye is injected into the spinal canal, and it outlines the spinal cord. And if there's an area where the cord is being compressed, there'll be a deflection of that dye that's outlining the cord. They did find a lesion, but it didn't look quite like what they expected from a spinal disc problem. So this dog was also referred for an MRI. Many people are familiar with because they may have had the procedure done on themselves or a friend or family member. And the MRI localized the lesion. They, they, they could see that there was some sort of a space-occupying lesion that was compressing the spinal cord. But again, the, uh, it didn't look like a spinal disc problem. So Cherry ultimately then was referred for surgery. A board-certified veterinary surgeon performed spinal surgery on Cherry, and they discovered that there was a cyst uh, growing in the lining of the spinal cord. This is a uh, quite an unusual diagnosis, but the cyst was a little fluid-filled pocket, and that fluid was causing compression of the spinal cord and, and leading to the neurological signs that Cherry was showing. The surgeon did a procedure to uh, remove this cyst and uh, relieve the pressure on the spinal cord, and Cherry has done quite well after the surgery. Of course, there's a convalescent period while the, the surgery uh, site itself heals, but she's doing a lot better, and Cherry's owners are quite pleased that she's made such a nice recovery. And they have told us that they never would have been able to have provided this care for Cherry if they hadn't had the pet health insurance. Well, I can imagine. I mean, the primary care visit, x-rays, and then two trips to a specialist. Do you Is have this, any idea what the total amount? Well, the, the total expenses for this were over $3,000. Uh, we paid about $2,800 uh, on this particular claim. Wow. So a, a good example of what can happen and why you need to be prepared. So I'm glad everything has worked out well for Cherry. Certainly, uh, Cherry's uh, owners are quite happy that uh, she's doing well and back to her old frisky self. Well, that's great, Bill. Well, we look forward to next week. Uh, thanks for your time, and keep those uh, interesting cases coming. We've always got interesting cases to talk about. <laughs> I want to thank both of you and hope everyone will tune in next week to our next session of Interesting Claims at the Prenacare blog.
Thanks, Dr. Larry and Dr. Bill. Thank you.